girl Gladys, aka That's Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Click that subscribe button, tap the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Welcome to $20 Tuesdays. $20 Tuesdays is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute, yet super affordable wigs for the $20 price range and below. So let's just jump right in. So today I have a wig from this collection. The Go Go Ultra HD Collection by Harlem 125. I've tried Harlem 125 one time before, their THL 04 wig, and I love that wig. Definitely one of my favorites of 2019. So when I saw that they came out with this kinky straight unit, I was very intrigued and I had to cop her. Now this wig does come with your typical cap construction. It does have your two combs in the front, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. The hair is heat safe up to 300 degrees. They actually say it on the stock card, 300, so you might wanna pay attention to that. And I guess the main upsell for this unit is the HD lace and it goes as far to kind of show you what normal lace what normal lace looks like versus their lace on this line. So I'm gonna give you a quick 360 and we're gonna jump right into the review. All right, y'all, let's get into this GL201 unit. <laughs> If you know me, you already know that I love textures that mimic like African-American 4B, 4C hair. And this, oh my gosh. For me, straight out the pack, this is the number one pro. The kinky straight texture, it feels so soft. I'm really amazed at this texture, especially when I tell you the price. I I'm like, wow. Wasn't expecting that from Harlow 125. Especially when there's other companies that come out with like 4B, 4C hair textures that do not feel like this. <laughs> this feels like healthy 4B, 4C hair that has been blown out straight. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. So yes, the texture is A1. And I spent a little bit more time in the parting space because I just wanted to make it look super natural. Normally I'll add my pressed powder, but sometimes if I wanna make it look a little extra natural, I will add a little bit of got to be glue on top using my, my comb and pat it down and add a little bit more powder. Sometimes I'll mix powders too, depending, but it looks it looks pretty pretty flawless now. Another pro to this unit is the cap size. I would say that it's big head friendly. I mean, it came onto my medium sized head very easily and I can imagine if your circumference of your head is 23 inches or more, you should be pretty good to go. Be mindful though, this is not coming down ear to ear for me, but honestly, not a huge deal. I also like the style of this unit. I like kinky straight hair, and I also like that there are a few layers, but that it's very slight. The layers are pretty long, but I do like that it's not just a straight, even cut. Now, as far as the cons to this unit, <laughs> for me, this is looking like a no con type of unit. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I really love this hair, you guys. But I did notice a few things that might bother people. One, it not being ear to ear, like I showed you. Also, there are a few crinkles in the texture. You might be able to see it, but honestly, it's not a huge deal to me at all. I think it still looks pretty natural. But if it bothers you, use a flat iron to straighten it out a little bit. Another con to me is this HD lace that they're purporting. Look, when it comes to HD lace on synthetic wigs, I've tried quite a few of them and I'm honestly not even using the lace. I, you know, have it behind my hairline and I added my, <laughs> you know, black eyeliner, but I feel like the lace is very light and that seems to be what HD lace is on synthetic wigs. So I've just come to expect that to be the case when doing synthetic wigs with HD lace, but it's not something I like. I would just prefer brown lace. But again, if you're not wearing this behind your hairline, it's an easy fix. You can add pressed powder, you can add foundation. You can use Ebon Tint Spray, which is my favorite, to fix that. Now I know y'all waiting for me to get into the price, y'all. When I bought this unit, it retailed for $22.94. Yes, kinky straight hair for under $25. Now, I have reviewed Kinky Straight Hair before. I reviewed FL003 by Free Trust Equal, and I absolutely love that wig. I still love it to this day. I believe that price point was around $30, but this is under $25. Like, I have not really tried a Kinky Straight for under $25. Let me take that back. I did try the Wiggle Collection, which was two for like $32, so technically one 
unit was $16 but you had to buy two, you couldn't buy this one. But with this unit, I like it better than that unit, only because I like the construction better on this unit. Overall, y'all, if y'all not on the website yet, get there. Who's on the website? Tell me in the comments down below if you are ready to purchase this wig. I did check wig types, and I noticed that they went up $2, so it is now $24.94. But come on, for under $25 for this beautiful kinky straight hair, I mean, I don't see a problem. <laughs> the only thing I wish is that I wish I got it in, t in a number two color. I normally like my textured wigs to be in my natural color, which is a number two. But y'all, this wig is hitting. I really cannot stop looking at myself. I love how I hooked up the parting space. I mean, come on. And on top of that, this is super beginner friendly. I'm telling you, if you like kinky straight hair, if you like textured hair, and you've never worn a wig in your life, this is the wig to get. And yes, it is very comparable to the Nisha 203 unit. I would say the only difference is um, Nisha 203 has more of a style. I feel like it's layered higher up in the wig. Whereas this is definitely more blowout straight. Also, Nisha 203 comes in an array of pretty colors. This is just your typical 1B2, 1B30, and so forth. So yes, y'all, let me know how you feel about this unit. I am loving her. I think you should pick her up, especially if you're a fan of textured hair like I am. This is making me feel like summer. Yes! <laughs> I'm loving it. This looks super natural on me, like... Oh man, I really like it. If you are curious about how to make your wigs look natural, I have an entire playlist dedicated to making my wigs look natural. Different tips, different tricks. It's my Wig 101 playlist. Check it out in the description box down below. And if you want to see more Tony Out Tuesday wigs, check out that playlist as well. Now, if you're new here, what are you waiting for? Tap that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Make sure you don't miss any of my videos coming up. Also, I am gonna be doing a Q&A session. I'm calling it my 10K Q&A, even though I'm almost at 11K. Ah, that's exciting. So I really, really want you guys to drop comments on any questions you have that you wanna know about me, my life, etc., etc. It's really important to me, so please drop questions, okay? It's gonna lead into a new segment that I'm starting on my channel. Check me out on Instagram where I posted about it on my stories and you can submit questions on Instagram as well. And of course, if you wanna see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.